Hi, we're here today with Dave Pyburn. He's Vice President of Science and Technology with the National Port Board USA. And we're going to be talking today about the importance of diagnostics for the port production chain. Uh, Dave, uh, what are the benefits of diagnostic testing? Well, uh, today when, uh, when you're working with, with producers and with systems, I don't really think you can do a lot of uh, uh, health management in those systems without having diagnostics in place. Uh, for example, um, with respiratory disease or with uh, diarrhea cases, whether it be in the nursery or in the finishers or, or even in the, in the uh, uh, sow units, um, we just don't know by looking at clinical signs anymore uh, what we're actually dealing with. And um, in this day and age of uh, the expense of pharmaceuticals, uh, the expense of treating animals, and also um, we want to make sure we're using antimicrobials properly. We want to have a good diagnosis. We want to have a known diagnosis before we go in there with a, a treatment regime. Okay, okay. And how can diagnostics help increase this productivity for producers? Uh, you know, when you look at our systems that we have today, we have optimized um, the diets. We have optimized the genetics. We have optimized management as far as biosecurity, um, protection from the elements. Uh, we've moved animals indoors for a lot of, uh, for a lot of our production units. So we've done all that, but we still have health issues that we have to deal with. And so when you look at um, the maximum productivity that we have in our animals today, we can't achieve it unless we are dealing with those health issues. And the only way to deal with those health issues is if we can have proper diagnostics and we can know exactly what we're dealing with, whether it be viral or whether it be bacterial. If it's viral, we can set up our vaccine regimes. If it's, um, if it's, if it's bacterial, we can treat it with antibiotics. Um, and, we, and we can maximize the health of those animals, maximize the welfare of those animals so we get the highest productivity. Could you provide some examples for us? Yes, um, you know, when I was in practice, which has been some time ago now, um, I can think of several examples where I would go into um, either units that I had been working with or new units that I was working with, and we'd be dealing with cases of either uh, diarrhea disease in piglets or respiratory disease in finisher animals, um, we would not have any idea really, well we would have some idea of what's going on, but we wouldn't know for sure what's going on. And in a lot of cases, um, we would start on some broad spectrum, spectrum treatments in those units. Um, we, would, we would talk about uh, the vaccinations that have been given to the animals and given to the, um, the sows in the system. Um, but at the, at the same time, we didn't know exactly how to go about dealing with the health issue until we got those diagnostics back. We needed to get those diagnostics back. We wanted to see that final diagnosis um, from the, the diagnostic lab before we could really set up our response to these health issues. Okay, Dave, thank you very much.